Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to be doing one of my all-time favorite things. We're going to be doing a catch or cook, and we're going to be cooking deep fried king mackerel. I absolutely love this stuff. And I know right from the get-go some of you go, no, you can't eat king mackerel deep fried. You can't fry that fish. Yes, you can. And it is absolutely fantastic. It's about as good a fried fish as you can get. And it's, I mean, it is amazing. The other day, I was out with Amber in summer. We're offshore about seven miles, and we got a nice king. So check out this clip of me catching this cool king fish. I'll see you guys at the clean table, and I'll see you in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what it is yet. The tail's pulsating, which kind of is different. If it's a king, it's a really big king. Going around in circles, which is weird. Oh, it's a king, it's a big king. Yeah, it's a big king. Kuda's gonna get him though. Kuda's gonna get him. Kuda's gonna get him. Come here, give me my gaff, give me my gaff. Kuda got the tail. Alright. Alright. Yeah, just got the tail, is all I did. Oh my god, that's crazy. Woo! Here, hold that. Kuda's Kuda. Kuda. under the boat. Crazy. Oh my god, I can't believe they got the tail. <laughs> oh my almost god. didn't almost oh. didn't get that king. He's bleeding. We so almost low. didn't get him. It's a nice king. Open the cooler, babe. Yeah. Alright, Jay Rockers. We got my king mackerel here. One that the Barracuda bit the tail off of. Look at that. He did a number on it, but hey, we got most of the fish. So that's a big plus. But we're gonna clean this today and we're gonna do this a little bit different than the traditional way of cleaning the kingfish. Because I'm gonna do something with it that most people do not do with kingfish, but we're gonna do, and it's awesome. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a decision right here. Get my bigger knife here. I'm gonna come through here. Actually, that knife is not sharp. I cleaned that shark the other day and it kinda dulled it out. So we're just going to come through just like this and we're going to flay this bad boy out. A lot of people like the steak kings, me included. I'm a big fan of steak and the kingfish. But we are going to go ahead and take this fillet off. Like that. And there you go guys. There's a really nice kingfish fillet. Alright guys, we got the fillet here. Here comes the tricky part with filleting a kingfish because you can go right through that skin and you don't want to do that. So you want to just come along, just go slow. Just like that. 
All right, and this is what you're left with. And what we're gonna do, where this bud line is, we're gonna come through, we're gonna go right along it. Just like that, guys. And that is a beautiful, clean piece of king mackerel. Same thing on this other side right here. There you go. So that's what we're left with right there, guys. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to deep fry some king mackerel. And it is absolutely delicious, guys. So I'm going to get the rest of this all cut up. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, Jetty Rockers. Well, this is what I end up with. I've got some really nice kingfish fillets here. And as you can see, you get quite a bit of meat off of the kingfish. And they are really good eating, too. Man, these are... An awesome fish especially if you're gonna do it the way that I'm about to show you guys in this video a lot of people say you cannot deep fry kingfish they are wrong deep fried kingfish is absolutely fantastic okay J rockers we're in the kitchen and I got my king mackerel steaks here or fillets whatever you want to call them and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them into little pieces About like that, guys. Just nice little bite sized chunks. Like that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these cut up and we'll start breading some. All right, we're gonna start breading some. We're gonna use the same breading that I normally use the house autry. We're just going to bread us up some king, kingfish nuggets. And i got to tell you guys, if you have not eaten kingfish this way, you have got to try it. Fried kingfish is the absolute bomb. And I'm not even joking with you. It's good on the grill. It's good in so many different ways that you do it. But if you flay it out, cut all the bloodline out, instead of cut you some chunks like this, and bread it with your favorite breading, you can't go wrong. It is absolutely delicious breaded. All right, well, I'm going to get the rest of these coated guys. I'm going to wait for them to get the green light on the fryer here. We'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I got my kingfish all breaded. Got 30 nice chunks. We're also going to do some steak fries. This is going to be a good dinner, y'all. All right, guys. We got my green light, so we're going to go ahead and put some in here. Go ahead and put all 15 in here, I think. Look at that whole batch in there, 15. All right, we'll let these cook. I'm cooking at a 375. This usually takes about two minutes, two and a half minutes, and it'll be done. Now they're looking good. They're starting to get a nice golden brown. About another minute, this should be good. All right, well our first batch is done. Looking nice and golden brown. Let them drain for just a second. I'll go ahead and put them on here. And what I like to do is just salt them down. A little bit of salt, just regular old, regular old salt. All right, guys, I want to show you something here. Look how white and nice that meat is. I mean, that is awesome. And if I gave this to you and you didn't know it was kingfish, if I told you it was something else, you would believe it. That is absolutely awesome looking. All right, well our last batch is done. Go ahead and salt them. All 
All right, guys, and I'm going to cook some french fries. Then we'll plate this up, and I'll see you guys on the couch. All right, Jody Rockers, well, here we go. I got my fried kingfish. Right like that. Man. I absolutely love this stuff. Kingfish fried is amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you never tried it this way, you got to try it. And there's a big misconception with kingfish that you have to eat it fresh. You know you don't. You can freeze it and it tastes just as good as long as you cut all the bloodline out of it. And you usually don't freeze it in water. Either vacuum seal it or some kind of dry sealing so you can uh, freeze it that way. You don't want to freeze it in water. And it is outstanding. It is delicious. Hot. but awesome well I got a, a comment the other day somebody asked me is there any fish that I don't like there's very few fish that I don't like I don't like pleco I don't like hardhead catfish I'm not a big fan of stingray but most fish if cooked correctly and cooked the way that is good for that style of meat or that meat profile I like pretty much most fish and I think most people would like most fish if they cooked them correctly, cooked them properly. You just can't cook every fish the same way. It just doesn't work that way. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you very much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. And I want to thank each and every one of you subscribers. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you guys very, very much. And until I get to see you guys again here soon on the water, Tight Lines, Jerry Rockers. Hey, Jerry Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jerry Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF Apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. But check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight Lines, Jerry Rockers.